Kailangan din is a next stop in the history of biotechnology is 1990. History of biotechnology. Biotechnology, what does it mean? The term biotechnology was used for the first time by Carl Erich, a Hungarian engineer in 1990. Was it the start of biotechnology? The answer is no. Later on, biotechnology was defined by different scientists as per one definition. Biotechnology is application of the principles of engineering and biological science to create new products from raw materials of biological origin, for example, vaccine or food. Or in other words, it can also define as the use of living organisms or are their products to modify or improve human health and human environment. Apart from their beneficial application, biotechnological principles has potential for destruction too. The best example for this is bioterrorism. Read the meaning of bioterrorism. For info, biotechnology from fiction, myth, and reality can be simply understood by reading the novel and watching movies. Frankenstein. In this science fiction, Frankenstein has created a human life which became a monster. This monster became the reason for, for the destruction of Frankenstein, the creator of human life. For this, history of biotechnology, I give you In 1928, Sir Alexander Fleming, a Scottish physician and microbiologist, noticed that a certain mold called Penicillium notatum had contaminated his petri dishes in his lab, and the mold were killing the bacteria he had been growing. Then he isolated this mold, he grew more of the mold, and then he experimented to see how many bacteria the mold could kill. It turns out the mold could kill lots of them. The way it kills the bacteria is it prevents the bacteria from forming new cell walls. And without the new cell walls, there would be no new cells and there would be no bacterial growth. This discovery led to the very first antibiotic made by Sir Alexander Fleming, the penicillin. Here's my question for you. What was the first name for penicillin? Hi, I'm Julia Bruegas, and today I'm going to present to you what is the history of biotech, 1933? In 1933, hybrid corn is commercialized. But what is a hybrid corn? Hybrid corn is a crossbred corn by planting the female and male inbred lines together in a field. Usually, the female has higher yield and the male has better pollen production. Henry A. Wallace developed the first commercial hybrid seed. He was one of the first people to successfully market it. 
But making money was not his only motivation. He believed in trying to make the lives of farmers better. Then it was the geneticist and American botanist George Harrison Schull who developed a method of corn breeding that made possible the production of seed are capable This is Moira, so we're going to talk about today the significant event that happened in the history of biotechnology. So what happened in that year? In 1951, artificial insemination of livestock using frozen salmon was introduced. So what does artificial insemination mean? Let's go ahead and learn about it. Artificial insemination, or AI, is a technique in which sperm is collected from the male and artificially introduced into the female reproductive tract at the proper time for the purpose of fertility. It is a technique created for the genetic testing of farm animals. So how did it all begin? In the 14th century, an Arabian chief put a ball of cotton in the vagina of a mare which he knew it was recently bred by a famous stallion. So he waited. After 24 hours, he took the cotton out and introduced it into another mare's vagina, who then became pregnant and gave birth. However, this wasn't documented. The first documented and was successful in breeding was done in dogs and reported by Lazarus Palandani. The Breeders' Association was formed then in 1951 and registered the first cow being born from AI. Remember this, Stewart reported the first birth cow from insemination from frozen salmon. So how did the process go? It all started for insemination was delivered every day from bull to female cow. But with the discovery that semen can be extended, 
With the addition of glycerol, it can be frozen. Semen is put into a puppet and stored in a nitrogen liquid tank in a very low temperature. These are some instruments used for storing semen. As mentioned earlier, AI is used on cows. It is also used on horses or mares. As you can remember, AI was first used on dogs. It is also used on turkeys since they don't usually mate. The breeders can easily proceed with the process. What is the most important technique created for the genetic improvement of farm animals? The answer is artificial insemination or AI. What was added to the set? are 7 million years ago. Their DNA from generation to generation changed too. In fact, many of these DNA changes led to difference between humans and chimps' appearance and behavior. The hybridoma technique, color and sensor mill stain, describe the hybridoma technique for the production of monoclonal antibodies. The first step is all about animal immunization. Ibig sabihin daw, yung antigen ay ituturok ng sinagadang ilang beses. Katapos nun, yung antigen at yung B lymphocytes ay parang magsasama, parang mabubuo kapag tapos ng ilang linggo at 
na-reach na nung feeling po sex yung optimal amount, kukuhanin na nila yung spleen ng daga para makuha yung activated B cells. Hindi lahat ng B cells ay activated, kaya abat lang yung nakuha nila dun sa may daga. The cell fusion. So, ang ibig sabihin daw po, yung activated B lymphocytes po na nakuha kanina dun sa may daga, dun sa first step po natin, ay ipofuse kay myeloma cells o pagsasamahin sila para makapagproduce sila ng bagong karakteristik. Ang myeloma cells daw po ay hindi kayang magproduce ng antibodies pero kaya nilang paramihin ang sarili nila. Samantalang ang activated B lymphocytes na po, kaya nila magproduce ng antibodies pero hindi nila kayang paramihin ang sarili nila. As a result of cell fusion, nagkaroon po tayo ng 5 types of cell. Unfused B cells, fused B cells, unfused myeloma cells, fused myeloma cells, and hybrid cells. Third step, selection of hybridomas. In normal ways daw po, yung mammalian cells ay mag undergo sa de novo pathways. Pero, ang de novo pathways daw po ay nabablock ng aminopterin. Kaya yung mammalian cells ay papalit naman sa salvage pathway na ito'y mangyayari lamang kung yung hyposantin and thymidine are present. Kung ang myeloma cell na deficient HGPRT ay isinama sa hat, hindi daw po ito magre-replicate o hindi ito, hindi ito dadami. Isolation of hybridomas. Kailangan daw po nilang piliin isa-isa o paghiwahiwalayin ang mga antibodies na nagpo-produce ng hybrid cells or hybridomas tapos pararamihin nila ito isa-isa. Ito ay tinatawag na limiting dilution. Ang hybridoma cell po ay ipaghihiwahiwalayin sa isang multi-well cultured plates o doon po nila yung ilalagay at a very low density. Gada isa, ito ay naglalaman ng isang single cell. Screening. Ang hybridomas daw po ay dumadaan sa screening para makuha o masala yung mga antibodies na kailangan at ito ay ginagawa sa pamamagitan ng ELISA at RIA. Kapag nakuha na nila yung mga kailangan nilang antibodies, ibubukod na nila ito at kokopyahin. Cloning and propagation. Pagkatapos daw po nilang mapagbukod-bukod yung mga activated B cells na nagpo-produce ng antibodies, ito ay tinatawag na nating monoclonal antibodies. The characterization and storage. Ito yung last step na kung saan ang hybridomas at monoclonal antibodies ay nanatermine na nila kung para saan natin pwedeng gamitin. Ito ay ilalagay sa isang nalagyan na may liquid nitrogen, tapos yung mga monoclonal antibodies na ito ay pwede nang gamitin sa iba't ibang uri ng sakit na naaayon dito. At dito na po nagtatapos ang aking discussion. Sana po ay may natutunan kayong bagong aral tungkol sa monoclonal antibodies. I'm Cyril Jeff Quinto from St. Thomas Aquinas. Today, we talk about Humulin. People with diabetes have to inject insulin to control the blood sugar level. Genetic engineering has been used to produce a type of insulin, very similar to our own, from yeast and bacteria. This genetically modified insulin, Humulin, was licensed for human use in 1982. Food and Drug Administration approved Humulin, Eli Lilly's recombinant insulin made from Genentech's specially modified bacteria. It was the first drug produced through recombinant DNA technology and among the first genetically engineered products to be available to consumers. At that time, Eli Lilly was one of the biggest handling insulin. They were quick to see the potential of recombinant DNA. They acquired recombinant E. coli that had the coding for synthesized human insulin from a small biotech startup called Genentic. Lilly then developed techniques for large-scale cultivation of the recombinant E. coli, as well as for the purification and formulation of the insulin. The new insulin is now used to treat diabetics. It's derived from animals, usually pigs and cattle. Although no shortage of animal insulin exists now, some experts believe one may arise in a decade or so.
production of insulin in genetically engineered bacterial factories promises to make unlimited amounts available. Here is my questions about humulin. 1. When is humulin created? 1982. 2. What administration admits insulin? Food and Drug Administration 3. Who manufactured the new insulin? Lily Lily 4. The coding for synthesized human insulin from a small biotech startup called Genentic Thank you for watching. Once again, Sire Jeff Quinto from St. Thomas Aquinas. Nineteen ninety, first federally approved gene therapy treatment is performed successfully on a young girl who suffered from an immune disorder. The first federally approved gene therapy treatment is performed successfully on a four year old girl who suffered from an immune disorder called adenosine diaminase deficiency. The Human Genome Project, the international effort to map up all genes human body, large. estimated cost three billion dollars. The PDA license, the first hepatitis C antibody test, which helps ensure the purity of blood bank products. The FDA approves a bioengineered form of the protein of the interferon gamma to treat chronic granulomatous disease. The, the FDA approves a, a modified enzyme for enzyme replacement therapy to treat serp combined immunodeficiency disease. It is the first successful application of enzyme replacement therapy for an inherited disease. Question. What immune disorder does the girl have? This all happened on May 21st, 1994. This transgenic tomato was no longer able to produce PG, which is an enzyme involved in fruit softening due to an deactivated gene. Tomatoes are normally picked before ripening when they are still green and ripened artificially by ethylene treatment. After that, the tomatoes are left to ripen on the vine and still have a long shelf life, which was thought to allow them to develop their full flavor. Now, let's talk about its gene. Scientists knew that PG had the ability to dissolve cell wall pectin, which was the key to fruit softening. According to California Agriculture, proposed to suppress PG accumulation in ripening tomatoes by introducing a reverse orientation copy of the gene. It is a copy of the gene designed to prevent or drastically reduce the formation of PG. In 1987, Calgary researchers cloned a PG gene along with methods of transformation and regeneration. So what are the differences of this tomato to a naturally grown one? As with all genetically modified foods, there comes concern. Calgen researchers tried to handle all concerns about the tomato by doing studies. There were only two ways in which two tomatoes were different. The first difference was that the fruit cell wall pectin degraded more slowly in the genetically modified tomato. The second difference was in the new tomato, the tomato paste had a higher viscosity. The only difference between the two tomatoes supposedly did not increase any risk and it just changed the taste.
dito, pag-uusapan natin ang biotechnology. In 1997, British scientists led by Ian Wilmer from the Roslin Institute report cloning Dolly the sheep using DNA from the two adult sheep shells. So, noong 1997, si Dolly ay clone lamang mula sa mamare grand cell na kinuha mula sa matandang pin dorset. Si Nam Wilmot at ang kanyang team ng researchers ay ginawa si Dali sa pamamagitan ng electrical pulse para mapag-combine ang mamare cell at unfertilized egg cell. At nagtagumpay sila makapag-clone ng hayop na kinalaunan na tinawag nilang Dali the Sheep. Sa video ito ay may isa lamang akong katanungan. Ano at paano nabubuo ang isang mamaregrant? The first commercial myoelectric arm is developed. But first, what is myoelectric? It is the electric properties of muscle. It is developed by Central Prostatic Research Institute by USSR and USSR stands for Union Soviet Socialist Republic, also known as Soviet Union. In the year 1952, Radishkovich, L.V. and Lukianovich, V.M. published clear images of 50 nanometer diameter tubes made of carbon. In the Soviet Journal of Physical Chemistry, I explained ko na sa inyo ang tungkol sa ginawa nila Radishkovich at Lukianovich. Ganito kasi yung ginawa nila. Gumawa sila ng research, science research, tungkol sa structure of carbon forming in thermal depth composition of carbon monoxide on a iron catalyst para mapicturean nila at mailagay sa isang journal sa Russia. Ito ay ang journal na Russian Journal of Physical Chemistry.